curious to know what is the Greens Party, I mean, stance on energy and mm -hmm. uh, and the whole gas crisis that's going on. What would, what solutions uh, would mm -hmm. you propose to as president? I um, do need to talk for half a second about the things that we are for. We're for a livable wage. We're for a single-payer health care system. We're for the repeal of NAFTA. We're for the repeal of Taft-Hartley so that people who are, so that workers can organize and form unions. We are in support of reparations. We are in support of the United Nations Declaration on Indigenous Rights um, because the Green Party uh, recognizes that um, uh, the foundation of this country is based on genocide of indigenous people. Uh, the Green Party has also uh, made a, a statement in their 2004 platform. They uh, uh, adopted support for reparations. They um, acknowledge that racial profiling and police brutality exist. This was all in their 2004 platform before I became officially involved with the party. So um, the, the Green Party is there with their platform. And then the Power to the People campaign, which is my campaign, we have also adopted the Reconstruction Manifesto is our platform, which includes these other things as I was talking about, livable wage. But the Green Party has spoken out for a livable wage and for um, uh, an end to U.S. imperialism, an end to the war on drugs, um, and end to pr uh, 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 prisons for profit, um, and uh, n nationalization of the Federal Reserve, um, eliminating these international banking middle people <laughs> yeah. um, and returning the power of our currency over to Congress, which means that you're turning it back over to the people. Um, and a budget that satisfies human needs, not uh, corporate greed. For example, one of the projects that I was working on before I was um, sent away from Congress was a uh, project to that looked at what the needs of our country were and matched them with what um, people of all ages, because this was lifelong learning, um, could do in order to make sure that they could have a job that was going to stay here and not be shipped overseas. And we found that construction was one of those jobs. And we uh, investigated and learned that Hampton University has a construction science major, but there's a dearth of students. We um, approached the building trades uh, union, which has a six-year program that provides a journeyman certificate that is internationally recognized in all of the building trades. And so we, and, also, it's an op opportunity for um, earning while learning, lifelong learning, entrepreneurship, and then for those who wanted to do um, the academic side of construction, that they could get a, uh, a, a diploma from Hampton University from their construction science department. So we had it all worked out. And uh, we, it gained the support of the labor unions. We gained the support of faith-based organizations because, of course, you know, a six-year program is a very long time, and so sometimes um, uh, people need support and they they need they need help, they need encouragement, and um, so we thought that the faith-based organizations would be a source of strength for people who might have found the curriculum a bit challenging or even just the daily struggle of life to be challenging. And we put this concept all together and um, actually had people begin, even though we wanted to get federal funding for it and we wanted to have pilot projects all over the country. Now that's what I was working on, but um, that idea is gone now because I'm not in Congress any longer. So the community misses out on visionary types of projects doing 
different things in order to have different things um, because I'm not there any longer. But um, in terms of, for example, energy policy, we can look at what the energy policy is of this country today. It is war and uh, theft. Theft of the natural resources as best as can be had, particularly on the African continent, and war every place else. Um, that's not an energy policy at all. The Canadians have decided that they could satisfy all of their space heating needs with solar. And I was just reading an article today that said that solar mirrors could be uh, configured in such a way that you wouldn't even have to have the photovoltaic panels collecting the, um, uh, the, the, the energy from the sun, but that you could concentrate that with, with mirrors. And um, wouldn't it be wonderful if every home in our country, every um, building in our country had uh, no heating bill because they uh, received their uh, warmth from um, the sun? It's possible, but you won't get it if you keep doing the same old thing. You gotta do something different in order to get something different. Um, right now, the uh, energy, we've got uh, problems with uh, our national forests and being, being clear-cut, and uh, we've got climate change. The, the clear-cutting of the national forests, aside from the value of having habitat for nature's gifts, um, but trees store carbon. And when you cut them, then you have no more storage and you're releasing that carbon. So um, it doesn't make good sense in the environment uh, that we're in now to cut trees, but I've noticed that we're cutting trees along the interstate, we're cutting trees. And um, so Protecting our national forests is one piece of legislation that I had introduced when I was in the Congress a long time ago. It wasn't a Green Party initiative. It was a green initiative, and now we know it makes a lot of sense. 